Okay, after doing a little test riding, we had a couple issues here with the uh, drive system. The belt is now not one and three quarter, it's three quarter. And we had a couple extra pieces floating around in here. So we figure that's just normal riding of the belt. They break when they want to. Well, that's nice fits. I like that. Did you check out this custom uh, primary uh, shifter mount over here, Gino? Look at that. Well, you gotta make sure you got that bushing in the hole right there. That's for damn sure. Well, that has not much support there, does it? Anyway, I figured it was just me riding the bike broke it, but uh, except I wasn't riding it. But we noticed that this nut was only uh, like half on right here. So what happened was this came loose, allowed this to flop around, and that's what broke the belt. It twisted it sideways. Now the reason this came off was is because if you look at the splines right there, they don't look very good. And if you look at the crank over here, they look even worse. So my guess is the crankshaft itself here had a lot of issues. And then this here, they all eat each other up. So when things are like this, there's no way this nut will ever stay tight because this is just going back and forth like this. And so this junk, so this now has a junk crankshaft in this motor. So the motor needs to come apart. So our project keeps growing here. So there you go, custom parts. So I just talked to a shop that said it was all new built in here. So if this is a brand new belt drive, which it looks like it is, that means they put this together like this. Or they didn't tighten this nut up and it's been rattling back and forth for a while and nobody noticed until the belt broke. Either way, we have issues. So, nice looking bike. Now it has bad motor. So there we are, different out. We figure out what we're gonna do. What do you want to be filming? Check the belt. You made a 7 8 primary belt? Yes. Perfect. We shortened it, we ground the edges, now we're getting rid of all the little hair fairy, fair, this kind of shit like right here. A little fuzzies. Fuzzies. Get rid of fuzzy. Here's what we chopped off a piece. Not that long, it stuck out a little bit. Because if it's frayed, it'll peel off, so if you get rid of fraying, it should be all right. Now this side here is stock, this side over here is the side that's missing some. I'm not sure which way the belt is going, so I'm going to put the belt on this direction this way. I don't know which way the, it's wound. So we're going to try that. I'll make this thing run up the This piece here was not going to work. <laughs> this appears to be a, a non-stuck together piece. I'm going to have to have some gap filler in here. How much yeah. gap filler is that going to take? A lot. We've got to modify this nut. The reason this came loose is because Moron put it on and only tightened up against this little tin cover and had no area. So naturally it came loose and just ate the hell out of everything. We're not sure who the Moron was, but it wasn't me. All right, so we got to clean all this crap out of here. So here's a cleaning device right here. Now we gotta pull this rotor off, make sure there's nothing stuck behind it. 
So where's the tool out for doing that? Did you bring it? Nope. Nope. Did you bring a tool for this? Nope. What's these? Found a tool. I use two screwdrivers. Screwdrivers to take off the rotor. That's my tool. Yeah, well, we'll have to see if that'll work. Okay, loosen that up. You bring the Allen tools. Have to use these. Yeah, we use these Allen's. Now we did disconnect the battery so we don't cut our finger off. That's optional. Some people like cut off fingers. So. I wonder who that was. We try not to discriminate around here. Would that, would, would that be the, the four finger camera move? I don't know, but that's the finger right there. See, every time it jams back, it gets my finger. I'm in the pain. I like the pain. Makes me feel better. There's somebody in front, can you? There is. Oh. Yeah, we'll take the clutch off first. He's got an outer primary in the pain. Yeah. We'll need some more tools anyway. Basically, I take this off and put the new belt on. It's right here. Plus, I want to make sure there's no uh, residue inside of here. Also gonna check to make sure that nut's put on correctly while we're at it. Okay, so we're gonna take this part, clean up, and we'll get back. <laughs> All right, here we go. What are we doing? You gonna cut that the sheet nut away? No, we're gonna cut the damn nut away. Cut a nut? Oh, cut the nut off, or nut we're part. We're gonna nut cut a nut. Okay, we have the special part here that failed. It turns out that one of the uh, screws was missing here. We never did find that yet, have we? No. So one of these screws here we had to go make. That probably contributed to the shredding. So of we had the, one uh, screw that was tight, one that was loose, and one that was missing. So that was just kind of flopping around. Mm -hmm. okay, the real problem, this whole problem is, is this nut does not work against that and not come loose because that's stupid. It's supposed to go all the way down inside the hole and push on those splines down there and be tight, not up here in this little stupid shoulder up here, which obviously has absolutely no contact to keep that from unscrewing. Especially when you're putting a Loctite on a nut. So we're going to have to cut this nut down so it fits down on top of the shoulder where it belongs and be able to torque it hard in the damn motor. Even though it's all screwed up, we'll still make it work for a few days. So Enough to get it out of the house. Enough to tell we get that built. It's coming in next week. Okay, so first thing I do is figure out how deep this is going to be, or what size this is. Okay, how, how big is that, Fred? 137. 140. You like how close I can do that? You can do. You need about one. You need it down to about 130. Okay, what if I use this one here instead? This one looks like it's 1400 also. Yep. So, there you go. You can look at that. I don't oh, look at that. Hold that, you know. You want to look at that? You, look at that. you have to wait. We're busy. Yeah, I just need the usual. Yeah. Wiring parts. We're doing a hover film. <laughs> Yeah, how deep do we need drone. to go? The drone. <laughs> the drone. We're doing our drone view. <laughs> how deep? How deep do we need to go? We're doing our drone view. Up oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, film over here. Oh, film. Okay. okay half inch. How deep was that? Well, half inch. Half, half inch. inch deep. Half inch deep. So that's a little more than what that is. Okay. Let's fly this back up here. <laughs> oh, look how nice. It hey. Give me, mm. give me a veneer. Look how precision that is. Oh, that thing doesn't have any wobble at all. That is so, so nice. 460. Okay. 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 Oh, there's no way of fixing that. Problem. The safety shoes on. Yep. Obviously, the hacks in the round don't match. So we have a problem here. You're going to have to cut the hex to make the round? No, we're going to have to put a shaft at the end of that to make it work. So let me go get a shaft and you can do it. Can I stop now while you're getting the shaft? There. You're going to give us the you shaft? Watch, you can watch the indicators all around. So. <laughs>
All right, we're going to pause. We're back. No pause. Oh, no, you stopped again. Why not? What's this? That would be the shaft, at what it's supposed to look like. You mean that's this part that's supposed to be in the motor looks nice, it doesn't? Mm. Now we're going to have a short video. Because you shut the film off, you're too lazy to talk for five seconds while I want to go to shaft. I'm going to get all the negative comments about how short my videos are. See how you tighten that down? Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I didn't tighten it down very well. Well, oh, that is so darn crystal. Look how even that is. I think you is. might want to run the threads on that bad one. That is a custom job there. You want to run the threads on that or what? Run threads. But it's... Go the other direction. Back right, come on. What is wrong with those threads? I don't think it's a thread. I think it's a nut. It's just a big piece of crap. That's what I think. We don't have a we don't have a alternate solution. A solution to this? Yeah. You mean you think that quality the nut is not quite there? Uh, I think I know. I know. That's what I just said. We're going to the drone view. I don't know why that. Well, I don't know why you think that net would not be quality piece there. They're supposed to look like that. Have you been drinking? <laughs> no, not much. Not much. Yeah. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> not enough. Just enough to keep the hands steady. That's all. Uh, She's flying a drone. She's drunk. flying a drunk flying. I'm flying a drone. <laughs> we got DUI on my drone. <laughs> Come on, let's go. What's Get moving. Showing the road, damn it. I'm not stopping. I refuse. Captured. What did we capture? The one is 12. What size is that nut? Big. It's like seven eighths. That's what I thought, but I only got a three quarter tap. Well, that's not gonna work. You think that'll work? Yeah. Is that fit, Fred? Nope. No. Go into this drawer right here. Drawer. These ones over here. Seem to be SOI. Don't you have something over here? I got something at home. Mm. Does home count? Well, I don't know. Can we run the drone to your house and back? I got some Loctite. <laughs> <laughs> we don't work on big shit around here. What if I use some of this? Uh, that might help. What is this? Slapping compound. That's, that's stuff that you don't want to... That's, <laughs> that's slapping compound. You don't, you don't want to... <laughs> you get a rash. <laughs> you might not want to use that for... Not a very good lubricant, I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, you don't like that for lube? No, that's not a good lubricant. <laughs> It'll wallow out the hole. <laughs> People get suspicious about what you guys do at night. <laughs> okay. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Look at that high speed. Low speed. High speed, low drag. In this case, oh, it's yeah, low we, speed, high drag. Look at those chips coming out. Oh, yeah. Are there chips coming out of there? It only went in a half inch further than it was before, so. Now what are we doing, Fred? We're trying to make do with not having a thread chaser by chasing it with a... Uh... Yeah. Trying to clean the threads up without a clean... Something I thought I was just working my bicep. So what's the lapping compound doing? It's cleaning the threads up, isn't it? It's form fitting them. Hmm? It's form fitting them. Form fitting. We're doing a form fitting. Slacking. Slacking. Slapping. Oh. I, don't think I think it's far enough down now. Out! Oh, my toes! No, no I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get to my toes. I do have a big cut on my leg now, though, from... Sorry. And then you put it right in front of my head while I try to move. I did get a big cut in my leg from all that movement. Oh shit! 
You know what? That hurt. Didn't hold on enough. But then I didn't pull back quick enough. That, that finger caught that up there, though. That finger works real good right across that area. Yeah, don't ever do that with a lathe. Is there some kind of a safety factor? <laughs> What's the safety that's, stuff that's the, that's the part he's going to edit out. Lesson, lesson learned. <laughs> don't lock the lathe in while you're going backwards? Yeah. You might up on a gear drive. The would have been up on the wall. Ouch. What the hell is going on? What's going on? Tight. Spinning. You can weld it on. It's tight. Jesus, man. What the fuck are you doing? Well, that's right. Big ramp king. We got that 24 yeah, in the back. fingers fucked up now. We'll get that 24 from the back. See if you can handle that. Alright, still filming. Good. Keep it moving. Damn skeeters, where are all these skeeters coming from? I don't know. But I know I bring, need to bring a damn semi staff in the house. So you have to lock it to get it to torque and then you can shut it off. Too much. Still spinning the staff. Yeah, I know. She got the gold mine. He broke the shaft out. Here's to be snug. <laughs> no, I need a zip gun. You need a big zip gun. Got the big wrench though. Show them the wrench there, Gina. Look at the wrench. The wrench ain't the problem. I'm holding the wrench. <sighs> Plan B is hit it with a zip gun. Yeah, it's just tear tearing some threads up, man. No, that's red Loctite. Oh, that's finally coming out. See the color? Yeah. It's red Loctite. So the Loctite's locked in. So all that. Skinning it out and skinning it out, warmed up the thread. Warmed up the Loctite, so now Loctite's biting. So now it's jammed in there solid. So I gotta go heat it up with a torch. Right now we're gonna try to get the zip gun here to pop the nut free. There you go. I think the zip gun will work. I'm predicting. I guess it's gonna spin the leg. Of course you have a really small hose. Blood. Bleeding. Well, what's, blood a good, what's a good evening at the shop without a little blood? Yeah, I got a little blood shot. Shit, blood all over the place. Be teaching people stuff they can do in their house for yeah. just they can do this in their house. It's called lapping compound. And a zip gun. <laughs> Anybody can break their <laughs> fucking hand in their house. Usually <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I don't use my power tools in my lathe, but in this case it works better. Now you can cut the thing down. No, it's still not in there far enough yet. But if you cut this back, it'll go further in. Well, if I do that, yeah. Well, then 
that's what you're doing in the first place. You were no, cutting this cut, down and back. The timer down. Huh? The problem is right now I want this thing to go in deeper than what I got to go. It's not letting me go deeper. blood. It's gushing. I keep showing up for work with like... Hey, cuts. you showed up with that, they know you work for a living. Yeah, well they cuts and uh, cuts and scars cool. and everything else. Like, what'd you do this weekend, Fred? Oh, look, there's a good looking set of hands. <laughs> yeah, I was a hand model. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to speed this thing back up. Get some high speed action. You're going to pay up for the video Jesse. See how it still wobbles quite a bit? That's not good. It is not good. No, it is not good. On the inside? Yeah, the motor is in. It's going to be good anyway, so. It's all shiny, though. It's good metal. Look how hard that is. Makes a nice chip. Some hot shit. Hot shit. What downward you want? Four twenty-eight. What's pulling? Oh, it's right here in the window, guys. Right there. There you go. You gotta flip it over. Oh. Now you can. approved stuff was in full effect right now. It appears they were way above 400, so he didn't even go in there yet. I said 375.628. This thing still isn't getting all the way in. Flip it over. No, don't, don't even screw it up. Flip it over and back it in. It'll still hold. I think what the problem is is that we are not hitting on that. Is that the problem? Is this the problem? We have lots of problems. I'm surprised you didn't just throw this in here and cut this hole bigger. Why didn't you just cut this hole bigger here? That's harder. Yeah. You gotta pour it out. This is <laughs> one, one thirty. Yeah, see that's gonna be It's not even going to push on the spline, it's going to push on the top part of that. So this is going to clear this spline. It's going to hit on that spline. Only on that part there. Which is fine. You know, it's undercut that much. It's clear this. So this can actually recess inside this nut even though it doesn't need to because it doesn't go in that far. The problem is it doesn't go very even. So that means this nut needs to go in there a lot deeper than what we're seeing because it can still go in further. Mm. We need some more lock. Mm. We need some more special fluid on there. What's that special fluid? Slapping compound. Blood. It's blood. Yeah. Well, blood's a good lubricant too. Blood's a good lubricant. Yeah. Very well. Four forty-three. You know what that means, don't you? We need to cut some more. We need to cut four forty-three more off to get to zero. That's the best. We're going a lot truer now. Look how far out that damn hex is. Whoever made this piece with a quality design.
How much is that? A lot. Blue. How come it's coming out blue? It's hot. That is hot. Because it's hard. Hot and hard, baby. <laughs> 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 420. <laughs> okay, we got 420 for it. 420. We need about. We don't know what we need, but we need just probably 20 more. See if I can injure myself some more. Yeah, I think the pointy end of the, the file going into your uh, kidneys it might not be very much fun. Yeah. <laughs> you You're nowhere near me. I know, that's the problem. That happened to somebody. <laughs> file went in and had the work handle. Yeah. The file went in. Ah. Uh, All right. That hurt. I think it would. Look at that. It doesn't fit. It does. It'll fit once you press down. It doesn't fit. But you screw it in. Though. You screwed it up, Fred. You didn't cut enough. I don't understand why we're not just trimming a little bit off the inside of there. Because you got to bore it out. You need a boring bar. You got to. Okay. Right. Uh, it's too much work. It's right. easier to do that. Yep, that's the answer. It's easier to cut the outside than the inside. The nuts made wrong. Whose fault is that? Whoever made it. It's my nuts made it. Nuts made it. Oh! Oh, my God. I didn't say that one. That wasn't mine. That was Fred. <laughs> is that enough this time? Getting hot. Hot and hard, baby. Hot and hard. <laughs> Is it hot? It's, hot? it's all purple and it's all fun and games till somebody gets hurt. Mm -hmm. Was an off methodology, not an on. What in the world? Why is it not going to? Yet? Because it doesn't want to. You think that maybe the hole is not square here? It's getting closer though. You know, if we do another 20, it'll probably fit. It'll probably slip right through. Get in the hole. Hold on! The threads are starting to get better though. Hold on! That's what we want. Hold on! Yeah, how much you want this time? Not that much again. Four fifty eight point. Four fifty. Four five eight six seven five. Oh, it's coming off easy now. Lots of fun pounds still working. Oop, there it is. Oh, there, Oop, there it is. And you didn't think that was going to work. Look at that. Oh, let me put some light on the subject. Never mind. Yeah. Now, do you think it's going to go on or not going to go on? Look at that. Oh, that shaft is a lot better than the one on the bike. That's because this one was good, except for I screwed it up right there, but it's okay. That's on the bearing area. <laughs> Look 
um, perfectly straight and true. I, I might be mistaken, but isn't there a guy with a wobble to it? Well, that's better. Well, you don't like that? Well, technically, right that's going to be the I wobble guess. we'll have on the mic once you put everything back on. Nothing goes right. It's right on it. So I don't want to make it All right. <clears throat> now we need to clean this edge up here a little bit. Yeah. I'm on it. So, you know how you do that? Get the file in it. Old fashioned. Do it by hand. Oh, I'm using my injured finger. He's doing more fashion. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? That's pretty good. That's good. You know what I mean, huh? Uh-oh. Big one. He's got the big dog out. Yeah. No, the other one's big dog. Oh, there's a big dog. That's a big dog. Oh, oh, oh. That this one. is the fine one. That's the big dog. That's super, super Sancho. This used to be the big one. That's just a dinky one more. Are you happy? <laughs> okay, so now we're ready to go clean this up and make it work, right? Mm. Well, reassemble. Reassemble? Where's our Loctite? Making it work so a little different. Get some locking tight. Uh, I was getting yelled at for putting too much Loctite. Well, that's all right. We have three of them here. Seems like I put the right amount on that. No, the seat. Oh, that's too much. Oh no! Shit, I Too much. Too. There's stuff laying over the okay, I got some. Re I got some residue on there. I put. I put a half of micron too much. Oh shit! That's too much. <laughs> Look how much wasteful he was. I'm there. Fucking paranoid about putting Loctite on. <laughs> now we have the correct amount on. Bleep. Um, um, bleep. I put. I put. Um, uh, bleep. I put one too many atoms of Loctite, and Keenan yells at me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why are you wasting that? Quit wasting that. Oh, guy, man, I'm sorry. It costs money. Yeah. Everybody thinks that shit's free. I can imagine the bill you're sending. Hey, I don't get free Loctite here, you know. 0 0.05 ounces of Loctite. See, I'm like Gino. 26 bucks. I'm like Gino. I'm getting blood on everything. Look at that. Well, right. I even got the other that's knuckle. Do, that's I got two knuckles. in the hospital, man. 0 0.026 of anything. That's that's 25 bucks. Yep. I can get 25 bucks for those three drops. Is that each? If a nurse farts on you, it's 50 bucks. <laughs> well, that might be worth it. <laughs> How close was she? Oh, hang on. My wife's a nurse. It can't be two bucks. Ah, whatever. She knows. All right. Tighten her up. Tatro tight. The torque specs on this is Tatro tight. Click, click. There you go. See that it's click? It's running off my wrench. Cheap screws. Of course. It's got a not a dent in it too. Why didn't you How'd that happen? Jeez. Could have been with everything. Let me find the hammer it. down here. Fine finishing hammer. That's my fine finishing hammer. Fine. <laughs> I think it's it starts with an F, but it ain't fine. <laughs> Look at all those other marks it, in there. It falls it falls into the BFH category. There. Is that a fine job there, sir? That's a BFH. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's go clean all this crap up and we'll get the rest of the bike going back together. You want me to wash it? Yeah, you can watch it. You want me to keep this thing going? Or not? No, you're good. Thank you.